Shayette, I don't know how many times you comment that. My relationship with God and your relationship with God is two different things. And when I die and go to heaven or wherever I go to talk to God, he can have a conversation with me about that, not you. First of all, clean your porch, clean your back porch, clean your house before you're worried about what somebody else is sinning and doing. Where about you? So let me get this straight. You want the elders to pour into you and give you wisdom, but when they do, you choose to reject it. Got it. Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with an another video. Yes, so Miss Brittany, yes, that's her name on this channel, y'all. So stop commenting and talking about her name is the no, it's Brittany here. Okay, Miss Brittany made a video and she said that she was, you know, you know, the pregnancy was kicking her butt. Yes, but before we get into the video, you know what to do thumbs up the video, subscribe if you have not already, leave us a comment, and cut those notifications on. Chelsea's. Okay. Me figuring out what I'm doing wrong, I'm going to figure it out. I don't need you to tell me. Because I promise you, your house is not clean. <laughs> At all. So, Miss Brittany, it sounds like your nose isn't clean. Let's do something about that, shall we? But anyway, uh, since she has announced her pregnancy, guys, it seems like she and James are not together or they're in, you know, on and off or whatever, you know, and so it looks like she got more than she has bargained for and it looks like she's used to this. It's just, she literally just wanted a baby. She sounds like she's not even worried about her relationship with James. What do you guys think? I, it's a whole different spirit here. It's like she got what she wants and now she's going to move on to the next guy. Hmm, this is getting interesting. And be with a man. At the end of the day, I need my peace of mind. I want to be drama free. I want to be able to live my life. Not be worried about other people's life. Focus on everybody else's business. Talking about everybody else's business every day. Gossiping every day. My nose stuck up somebody else's tail every day when I know I need to be worried about mine. Okay? They do, girl. They do. <laughs> they do, girl. I don't know. It got no sense. It made no sense, now. I need peace of mind. Y'all goal is to get on social media and be couple of the year. And that ain't my goal. My goal ain't to sit up here and be couple of the year. My goal ain't to be idolized. My goal ain't to be praised. My goal is to make sure my relationship is right with God. I got a peace of mind. Oh, now, Brittany, who are you fooling? You want to be praised. You, you, you wanted to be couple of the year. You wanted to be a woman of, uh, you know, bounce back, right? That's why you got right into that relationship with James. That's why you wanted to have another baby because it looks like this is what you do. Oh, now that things are not looking right now, you're trying to act like, oh, it's not like that. Oh, I'm not pressed. Oh, honey, you pressed, baby. As soon as you peed on that stick, baby, you had to put it right on camera and now you speeding up the process and like you four or five months pregnant now mm -hmm. you like the attention don't sit there and act like you don't because you wouldn't have even announced it uh-huh drama free i can pay my bills comfortably take care of my children those are my goals okay falling in love deeper with myself falling in love deeper with god those are my goals my goals is not how to keep a man, how to trap a man, how to be with a man, how to get a man, how to make a man pay my bills, how to make a man. That ain't my goals. Okay? It's not my goals. I can care less whether it's here or not. What's most important to me is my relationship with God. My well, with all due respect, Miss Brittany, your relationship with God is a little disconnected because he would never want his Proverbs 31 woman to be out here having all these babies by different men. How many times do we have to say this? You think that he is going to bend his word for you? No. You What you need to do is close up shop. Get yourself together. Okay? Make this your last baby for a while until you get married. That's when you really know you're right with God because you're going to do his word. It's right in the Bible. Start reading it, sis. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm. Relationship with myself, my relationship with my kids. And that's it. 
um, goals about a man that's far down the list. But the last girl, do it like I want to have a baby to keep a man. Do it like I need to have a baby to keep a man. Do it like I need to do anything to keep a man. I'm good with or without a man. Y'all be the ones pressed for a man. If we together today, if we not together tomorrow, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be great. Now, Brittany, you keep saying you going to be good. But what about these babies and these children that have to constantly go through different men as well? What about them? They don't deserve to have a daddy. They don't have they don't deserve to see the representation of a mom and dad together in a nice, fruitful, healthy, godly relationship. Are you even thinking about that? Your children are looking at you every day. And to see mommy going through, you know, different men like you go through underwear, it's just not cute. It's not hot. It's not there. It's not good. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to need you to understand that you need to stop. Y'all be so dumb with these analogies of having babies to keep a man. Girl, bye. Been there, done that. Did that in high school. That's why I got three churn. That's why I had three churn before. Thinking, oh, I'm in love. My high school sweetheart, I'm going to be with him forever. We're going to have babies. We're going to be together forever. Girl, at this big age, I'm at and nobody. I don't need to have no baby to keep no damn man. Okay? If a man don't want to be kept, it don't matter what you do, he gonna leave you. So, all that dumb stuff of people, you have a baby to keep a man, girl, that's dumb as hell. A baby ain't gonna keep a man, food ain't gonna keep no man, money ain't gonna keep a man. A man can only be kept if he want to be kept. Honey, she proceeded in saying that, uh, you know... Nothing's going to keep a man. Not intimacy's not going to keep him, you know. Of course, she just said money. None of that. And it's not going to keep a woman either. It goes both ways. I know everybody want to put everything on the man, but it's not going to keep a, a woman there as well. You know, it has to be in the heart. And what she's saying is basically reflecting herself. A man not going to be able to make her happy and keep her faithful and keep her mind in the game either. You get what I'm saying? So with her being, you know, in this condition now that she's pregnant by yet another man and you know all of this, why are you keep doing it <laughs> over and over again? Are you slow? I'm not. <laughs> you petted to see it's a committed to manifest, girl. Well, yeah, there it is. There it is. Give a damn how fine you is, how good you do them. I don't give a damn how great epitome of a woman you are. If a man don't want to be kept, he can't be kept. See, y'all be thinking I'm young and dumb. I'm not young and dumb. <laughs> not, I'm far from dumb. Oh, we all know that you are not young. But as far as your decision making... You're not taking your time, sis. You're not using your calbasa. Okay? It is what it is. Oh, no, you're not that D word. The original origin of the word means you can't see, you can't hear, and you can't speak. But spiritually, that may fit. I'm just keeping it 100 because this is a spiritual channel. Because it looks like she cannot. She thinks she knows it all, but she knows nothing. She knows better, but doesn't do better. And yet you have thousands of people watching this, influencing them to do the same thing. What she's doing is she's promoting single motherhood. Far from dumb. Far from dumb. Life ain't even about keeping a man at this point. Make sure I'm staying alive and in my right mind and got peace. That's all you need in this world right now. Peace. Peace of mind. If you ain't got peace of mind and you got a man, you ain't got nothing. To be honest, peace of mind doesn't come from a man. It doesn't come from self. It comes from God. You have to really connect with him, Brittany. Okay? Stop giving up your pearl to these guys. I don't care how smart you're trying to appear to be. There are some disconnects. And the thing about it is she is going to keep doing this and doing this and doing it well. You get what I'm saying? Or doing it bad. And I feel sorry for the children. Because the children have to deal with this. The children have to not see James anymore. Because mommy over here shaking off. Getting pregnant. And moving on. She's the problem. 
not Janet. If you ain't living in your right mind and you got a man, you ain't got nothing. So that ain't the goal for me. That might be the goal for y'all. Get married, stay with a man. Not this year. I thought Hot Girl Summer was single with me. Hell no, it ain't. Hot Girl Summer is for mamas, people who marry, people who are in relationships. You're supposed to get space from your spouse. You're not supposed to stay with somebody. There you have it. She said a hot girl summer is for those who are in relationships, marry. You ain't supposed to stay with somebody. You get what I'm saying? This is what she thinks. So she has her people thinking, oh, that, oh, she, you know, is the victim. No, she ain't the victim, baby. She doesn't want to be in a relationship. She honestly probably don't want to be married because she doesn't want to be held down. That's too much like right, you know? And the children, subconsciously, at any time, she could just turn off her mom, you know, her mom hat, her mom title. I've, I've heard her say it. I'm not a mother today. I'm going to go off and, 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 and be a 304. I, I, basically, that's what she's saying. Get a break so y'all can miss each other. Y'all want to be up on it all day 24-7, not me. You need a break. You need a break. <laughs> Change my last name and then what? get married and stay married for 10 years and hope I get his retirement check for what for what <laughs> you heard him get a retirement check huh so she just basically want to be a be with a man for his money so that basically confirms that when Robert had his issue with his wellness oh she wasn't down to be there and be his nurse and to comfort him and to get him back to health. That's why she left. She checked out mentally. And maybe Robert, you know, did it, you know, permanently by filing for divorce. But she had already checked out and probably already grabbed up James. And so she's getting it right back. Mm -hmm. What else does it change? What does it change for real? You go to the courthouse to get paperwork. For what? Then you go going through all types of hell. And then in order for you to get out, you got to go pay lawyers and judges to get out of it. Nowhere in the Bible did it say you had to pay to get married and pay to get out of it. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that. Oh, the Bible has everything in it, baby. You get what I'm saying? You just have to read it and understand it. And if you don't understand it, ask God to help you to understand it. The Bible, the word does not promote you getting into a marriage and leaving whenever the heck you want to. The vows itself says in sickness and in health, okay? It says to death do us part. It says richer or poor. Those are the vows. And the word says that the only way that you break a covenant is if you go and you sleep with someone else, you've broken the covenant. And then you're committing adultery and fornicating. Oh, it says clearly what you're supposed to do. No word in the Bible doesn't say that. Y'all be so worried about Marry this, marry y'all. Go get married, y'all. Go do that. I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. Y'all saw that comment, y'all. That comment said, Oh, okay, great. Thank you for explaining. You don't want marriage, you just want babies. Got it. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. She, she's like Pokemon. She collected them all. She collected men to basically have children. Children that she doesn't even feel like raising. She just like being pregnant, like the attention and like babies to go ahead and, and put on social media and act like she mama of the year when she want to be. And then she wants to have a hot girl summer. Well, honey, you, you should have thought mm -hmm. about that. Before you went and you trapped James. Because that's exactly what you did. Oh, it's going to change my last name. Oh, it's going to change my status. Oh, it's going to change stuff on my paperwork and my taxes. Oh, it's like, where are the benefits of it? The benefits of marriage when it's godly is the covering. You're making a covenant with God. That you are cleaving to this man or this woman for the rest of your life and you guys are going to live life together and learn together and earn together so fellas if you see this face okay i'm gonna need you 
to go the other way because sis going to trap you, make 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 a mockery of you. She going to play with your mind. She going to get you there and then drop you when she ready. She basically saying it. This is Jezebel incarnate. Yup. This is Jezebel in the flesh. Watch out, y'all. Don't let the dirt. If I, if I make it 10 years, I get the kids yeah. a retirement pension. Where, where the benefits at? Where, where's the benefits at? Because I, I didn't read in the Bible where it's saying, go to see a judge. Pay for your marriage certificate. Then the man who signs it, you're then deemed married. Then if you want to get out of it. <laughs> none of it say nothing about a judge, a lawyer, the courthouse. The Bible don't say nothing about that. The Bible don't say nothing. You see she's scratching there. Bald headed lies. Uh huh. You know, when people are lying, they'll itch or they'll tug their ear or they'll do something. It's like a nervous condition when you are not telling the truth. The body will actually show that you're not telling the truth. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're talking to somebody and they itching a lot, they lying to you. Mm hmm. But yeah, it says it. She keeps repeating herself. You get what I'm saying? It says it in the Bible. And if you don't want to get married, then you need to be celibate, miss. Yeah, but like she said, she said, "Oh, I don't control. I don't. I don't trap men with this. I don't. Oh yeah, you you trap them with 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 physical stuff. That's why you keep doing it because that's all you got to offer." <laughs> I was not, mm -mm, baby. I just matter of fact, a couple of weeks ago, remember I was on live with y'all and I was like, "Oh yeah, no, what well, couple? Of, probably two months ago, I was on live with y'all and I was like." Oh, yes, y'all. This is about to be the first summer. I'm about to have no kids. I'm about to be excited. I'm about to drop all the kids off with their daddy. I'm out. I'm about to be outside. Remember? Y'all remember that? <laughs> I was excited. I was like, Momo going to school. I ain't about to, I'm about to be kid free for real during the day. Got to pay no daycare. I was excited as hell. Y'all remember that live now? It was two months ago. I went live and told y'all that when they first got out of school. And then, boom. No, Mika, I did not. Last year, we had talked about having a baby and we was planning on having a baby. And then we changed our mind. And I was like, no. Nah, because I'm finally getting, like, mama going to school. Like, I don't want to be. By we talked about it, she really means she talked about it with herself. Because according to James and that live stream he did a few days ago, Honey, he said uh, he wasn't ready for no baby. So who, what, where the conversation happened? No, what happened was you stopped those darn birth control pills and James thought he could still have some fun up in there and he didn't know them pills were not in your system and boom. And if you do things like that, that is tricking a man, that is trapping a man because it is. Now, of course, he still has a choice to do what he needs to do. Now, fellas, if a woman says that she not on her BC, no, I mean, she on BC, that don't mean that you don't need don't to do what you need back. to do. I'm good. I want to wait. So that's what we was doing, waiting this year. And then this happened. God got me so good. Cause I was like, and don't lie on God. You got yourself so good. Yeah, you got yourself hemmed up in this situation. Cause that's what you wanted. You don't want what God has for you because you don't want to wait. You're not patient. You want things now, and you have been doing this forever. This is not brand new. We all know when you have unprotected relations, we know what happened. You know you fertile. You knew that you stopped your BC. You knew all of that. Grow up and be accountable, okay? You're looking like you're just a hot potato out here, just looking for the next guy to get trapped, okay? That's what you're doing, but you're trapping yourself. God, no. Mm -mm. I was screaming, crying. I was so I'm keeping my baby. 